happening from my even from my end uh, just to honor because I guess our whole big thing is, is what we do as Southern Oshone people is honor honor and respect the game. That's the biggest lesson you're gonna ever learn. If I can teach you one thing today, it's honor and respect the game. Honor and respect all the people who are sitting next to you. And honor and respect your parents and guardians who brought you here as well. Because um, again, sometimes we don't get the we don't we don't see the sun sometimes. Everybody and that acknowledgement to me comes from being grateful for what you have and the opportunities that you have because you have wonderful opportunities out there in this world. Askano, Anigonya, Agyacho, Agayo Kono, Niwat Gowat Jonte, Otan Yoni, Nigash Outte, Oshwege, Anigwagano, Aweno Shrio, Watne, Ohando, Agai Fodego, Aganohanyo. あだねんだ、ディギャスゴーダ、アスワトシオ。アガイワンゴハゴハワード。アネハンドワイホッケンとサゴエディスト。アスゴアウィアガノハニョ。アネディネイアワンザ、アスキャノトノトニョ。アネ
Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Cam Bomberry. I'm from uh, Six Nations of the Grand River Territory. And uh, that's home to people of the Haudenosaunee, the Iroquois Confederacy. Um, this game of lacrosse that we're you know, taking part in today is uh, something that's truly ingrained in our culture. Um, I travel around, myself and Kevin, and we go to a lot of different territories where uh, Native people are. And just as uh, Don said earlier, they play a stick and ball game. And if you can imagine, everybody in their own areas having a version of a lacrosse game. Not necessarily called lacrosse, but it was a stick and ball game. Okay? Um, the Wahokajikwai, this goes back to our creation story. As uh, it was mentioned earlier, this was a gift from our creator. And for Sequoia our creator, to be the first one to play this game. That's how, I guess, special and sacred it is within um, our culture, who we are as a people. So, with that, we continue to play with the wooden stick. We continue to make wooden sticks. Um, that's what the game comes from. It comes from nature. All right? That's how close we are to the game. Um, so, with that, we uh, just want to share that with you. Gotta forgive me. I, I've been coaching all week. I coached in a tournament last week, and I kind of got coach's voice still going on here. But uh, I'll do my best to uh, keep going today. Um, it's a pleasure to be back here in Oregon. I uh, got to meet John and the family earlier in the fall time, this past fall. Um, to see people uh, take this game up and really appreciate and respect the fact that you know it has so much more than you know the the flashy chrome bling kind of attitude. You know that it really does take that sacred place in here and you know to, to share that with everybody to promote that you know um, growing up playing since a little wee guy you know being outside being a part of this whole environment being part of nature this is just an extension of who we are so with that that's the kind of message that we'd like to echo throughout the day. And, you know, we encourage good sportsmanship, you know, good camaraderie, you know. Uh, it's, it's a way of learning. It's a way of growing as a person. All right. Uh, hats off to Sam here, who has made his way into, you know, a post-secondary education system that he gets to play the from, you know. Um, I had the pleasure of, you know, going to school away from my home territory. I actually went from Canada over into the U.S. to play lacrosse in college. Um, that's uh, about a hundred years ago now, but um, <laughs> it was it was an experience that, you know, this game of lacrosse gifted back to me. Uh, I got to see the world. I've been to, you know, Australia a couple of times. Been to England a couple of times. Well. It could have been a couple times. <laughs> That's another story. That's another chapter. But um, it's one of those things that this is a definite vehicle for a lot of individuals. Um, it's the fastest growing sport in North America. All right. Ahead of soccer, ahead of football, it's the cross. Okay. Out here on the on the wet coast, I call it. You know, this is uh, pretty cool to see that you guys are, and girls are taking up this game because um, it'll definitely help you become a better person, okay? And to always try to get to be that better person each day, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. If you get an opportunity to pick up your stick every day, hopefully after your chores and your homework's all done, you know, then you can go and play. And it proves that part of it. Everything else starts to snowball with that, you know, your confidence, your self-esteem, everything, all those good things start to roll along. You start to, you 
you know, be a good friend to someone. Somebody else, you know, uh, I was telling before, how many sticks do you got? Oh, I got about four or five. Four or five? I was lucky to have one good friend, you know, as a stick growing up. You know, to have four or five sticks, I got too many here. If somebody don't have one, go give them one. That's how the game of the cross broke. Alright? You don't need four or five sticks. Um, one good one good one, um, And actually, Kevin and I are uh, working with the program in the Toronto School District of Catholic School Board.